What's up everyone? I get this question from time to time, so I thought I'd make a video about it, and that is, how is my car holding up after two and a half years of driving? I'm talking about how are the white seats holding up? How's the screen? How's the fabric? How's the steering wheel? All those things that show wear and tear over time. How's it doing? In my Model 3 Standard Range Plus after two and a half years, so here we go, a review on how things have been in my experience driving the car over these past couple years. I think these seats have held up very well. There's a little wear and tear here. And what can you expect after 30,000 miles? There's a little bit more here in the driver's seat as well, but no rips or tears, uh, not significant gene transfer. It wipes up pretty frequently. In fact, looks like needs to be cleaned a little bit as well, but I've been really pleased. They still look very good after all this time. The back seats look great as well. I could use a little cleaning back here as well. I usually get the car detailed twice a year, but because they rarely get used, they look still, in my opinion, nearly as good as they did when I bought the car Overall, I would say the white seats have been better than I expected when I bought the car. I was a little leery when I bought it that they would hold up, but I think they've held up great. I'm really happy with them. I'm happy with the selection. And, and I gotta be honest, over the last year or so, I see a lot more white interior Tesla Model 3s than I do anything else. So I think word is out that these hold up really well. They clean very easily. So if you're on the fence about it, no concern with the durability and how they look after such a long period of time. Everything on the steering wheel is holding up great. These scroll wheels worked perfectly still, no issues. I know some people have had issues with the, uh, with the scroll wheels. Mine are plastic, they're not metal like the new ones, but they work very well. The logo looks good. All the stitching is still in place. So the steering wheel which gets just as much use as the, as the driver's seat as your hands are on them literally all the time. In autopilot, I do take them off, I gotta admit, but uh, the steering wheel looks great, feels great. So I, I would say this is a, a high quality steering wheel for sure. No issues with that. No wear or tear on the door trim, uh, no scratches, anything like that. No issue in the speaker grill. Uh, all the stitching is still in place as you can see. So. Um, I think they did an, a really good job assembling this. Um, no damage that I can see, so I'm very happy about that. I've heard from time to time that the dash can show scratches when being cleaned. That has not been the case for me. So the dash still looks great. I wipe it down from time to time, but no complaints there. Moving on to the center console, this has been redesigned in the 2021 Model 3s, but mine still functions great. The magnet is strong, it holds in place, no sounds or, or scratches or anything. It, it functions just like it did back in, in the summer of 2019 when I bought it. I have a, a third party wireless charging mat. It, it's not the best, I gotta be honest. I, I do wish I had the 2021 charging mats but uh obviously i put uh some matte coloring rather than the glossy black which it had back in the day that was very fingerprint heavy but looks great functions great no complaints tesla has been heavily criticized for its paint jobs over the lifetime of the model 3 production but my paint job looks very good there is some micro scratching if you can't tell from going through the car wash but no major dings no imperfections it still looks great i've been lucky over the life of my car not to have any people key my car or damage it in any accident so it still looks great i do have some paint film protection on the front of the car which you can't even tell but uh you know i haven't really needed it not to say that you shouldn't i'm, I'm glad that i did but and then you come down here to the wheel I do have a little curb rash, which is a bummer, but that's that's my fault as I cut a corner too close. So there's some curb rash. I tried to touch it with some paint, but overall, like I still love this blue color. It's one of my favorite blues and 
the entire auto industry. That's one of the reasons I chose it. And after two and a half years, it still holds up, looks phenomenal, and uh, no regrets at all with this paint color. No rock chips or scratches on the front glass. And I have had a couple uh, ricochets on the freeway, but it's held up very well. I, I love the view from the driver's seat. I like the glass roof as well. No scratches there. I think passengers like it as well. So it's it's holding up great. It's I, I drive on the freeway quite often and it's withstood some some chips and some some free flying rocks through the air. So it's done a great job. The lift gate on the trunk is holding up well. As you can see, the trunk these days is fully loaded with strollers and all kinds of things, but no real damage inside the trunk. It's held up well. I do not have any covers. I mean, this is just stock. You can't even call it carpet, but whatever it came out of the factory with is what I've left it with. And it still looks very good. I'm very happy with it. As you get a little closer look here, you know, there's a few, it's not even damage. It's just, I need I need to get it cleaned, but it's it's holding up very well. So uh, the rubber is is doing its job, keeping water from falling in. I know there's been a few complaints with that as well. But my only real complaint is that it's not an automatic lift. Um, I've, I've complained about this in the past and look, the Model Y has it now. So, you know, maybe this is this is how cars work and, and Tesla's not immune to this. But I remember feeling back in 2019 when I spent as much money as I did, I would have liked that feature. I still feel that way. Um, but for, for it being manual, still functions like it did back in 2019, which is a good thing that there's no wear and tear at this point. One thing I'm glad I put on here was a screen protector. Uh, no damage to the screen itself, but if you can't tell, I've got a couple little nicks down here in the corner. I need to replace this screen protector, which I'm going to do soon. But, oh, it look, it just cracked right there. As I was peeling it off, you can see it. So, this is over two and a half years old. It's done its job, but I need to replace the screen protector now. If you can't tell by now, I'm really impressed with the way things have hung in there for two and a half years. The seats look great. It drives fantastic. So no issue with the way that it drives. It's held up really well. So if you have any concerns about that, rest assured, I think these cars are well built and they hold up great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, a great week. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, would appreciate that. And if you have any questions or have any future video requests from my experience in a Model 3 Standard Range Plus, let me know. I'd be happy to make the video for you. Take care.